This is how you build a PC in one minute. You have eight parts, your CPU, CPU cooler, motherboard, RAM, SSD, GPU, case, and power supply. Take your CPU and put it into your motherboard socket. Close the socket and install the CPU cooler. If you're using a tower cooler or an AIO cooler, make sure that your fans are sent to intake. Then you can take your RAM and put it into these slots on the motherboard. Put it into the two and four channel for the best performance. Remember, these can only be placed in one way, so don't try forcing it if you feel like it's not going in. Next, take your SSD and put it into your motherboard slot. Make sure that it's facing the right way and that you're using the slot closest to your CPU socket because that's usually the fastest slot. And now we can start unboxing the case. If the cases come with fans, make sure that the front fans are set to intake and that the rear fans are set to exhaust. Install the power supply in the case and then route the motherboard cables through first. Do not forget to install your motherboard IO shield if it comes detached. Before you put your motherboard into place, plug in your motherboard's power cables first. Doing that after it's screwed in can be very annoying. After they're plugged in, you can then line up the motherboard with the standoffs and then start to screw the motherboard into place. But you gotta make sure that you don't overscrew because although it's not common, you can crack the motherboard. Once you have the motherboard in place and it's plugged in, you can start wiring up the case's front header ports. These are really tiny wires, but they are labeled so you can follow this chart so you know that it's in the right order. Now you can finally put your GPU into place. Unscrew the PCIe covers from the PC, unlock this PCIe slot on your motherboard, line up the GPU, and you should be able to click it into place. Screw your GPU into place and then plug your PCIe power cable into the GPU. That's it. That's how you build a PC. If it doesn't turn on your first try, don't worry, that's completely normal. Did you switch the PSU on? Is your BIOS updated to work with your CPU? Have you tried with just one RAM stick and tested all the slots? Is your HDMI plugged into your GPU? Have you tried booting off the CPU's onboard graphics? There's a bunch of troubleshooting techniques, but my favorite troubleshooting technique is skipping the building process entirely and going to easy computers. We sell budget PCs. This one is just 359 and it can play Fortnite at over 144 FPS while streaming. Don't sleep. Bye from easy.